what would be your, your proudest moment? Win the Super Bowl. Win the Super Bowl. I mean, win the Super Bowl is like everybody, every athlete. That's the ultimate goal for all of us. When we get into the league, that's what we want to do. When it comes down to it, it's about championship. We want to win. So to have an opportunity to not only get to a Super Bowl, but start in the Super Bowl and win a Super Bowl is probably the, the biggest moment of my life. Absolutely. And, you know, you, you've you been making plays. Even in that Super Bowl run, you made X amount of plays. Not only in the AFC Championship game and in the playoffs, but in that Super Bowl. Yeah. It takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of study, and, you know, to do that type of stuff. And, you know, your IQ has just been just... Since I've known you since 12 years old, it's always been at this level. I mean, you excelled even when you went to New Hampshire, you know, to, to finish academic All-American, you know, let alone, you know, All-American on the football field at a school like New Hampshire. It's just awesome for you. You know, I mean, a lot of people don't know that about yeah. you, but that's just a willing testament of what you bring on and off the field, you know. So, you know, with that being said, we're going to keep you back to football. Okay. You know, the past couple of weeks, man, the past couple of weeks, <laughs> these teams been throwing at you. Yeah. Now, you, you been the better, you're the, you're the veteran guy of the defense as far as the DBs go. And they been throwing at you, man. I've been feeling some type of way about it. I've been feeling some type of way about it. I mean, you got a Super Bowl ring, you got a Pro Bowl under your belt, and they've been throwing at you. Now, do you take that as a sign of respect or disrespect? Respect, right? I'm gonna answer that. Nah. Now. <laughs> honestly, nah. I, you're right. I, it's a sign of disrespect. I mean, obviously, we're not sitting here. I'm not gonna sit here and say I'm on Sherman level to yeah. where you know they're not even throwing at him, things like that. But I mean, when a quarterback watches the film. They can pick and choose where they go with the ball. So if you get into the game and they're throwing the ball at you constantly, obviously they thought you were a weak point. So I mean, you can't control what they do, but all you can do is control the outcome of the play. I mean, if you got an opportunity to make plays, you make plays. I mean, I feel like, especially in the Chicago game, late night game, I was getting a lot of action. Like, a lot of action. I felt some type of way about it. I mean, but when it's all said and done, all you can do is go out there and make the plays you're supposed to make, and you know, that's what I've been able, been able to do and been trying to do lately. Absolutely. Now, you know, despite doing, you know, good things on the field, you've been doing great things in the community. I mean, since you've been home, man, I mean, you, you go right into the community, you've been doing great things now, you know, you know, with the Beast Elite Ducks, uh, the GC Cowboys and the Buffalo Wolverines, you know, you've been giving back to the youth teams now. Is, is there anything else that you want to see different change in your community? I mean, we need, we need a lot. I mean, being from Buffalo, New York, I know, I mean, I've been in the community my whole life. I know it's like I was born and bred here. I mean, I was out there where, where the kids are at now. I know what they're going through. I know the tough situations. So obviously we did a lot. I mean, but as a professional athlete, being from Buffalo, New York, you're going to try to help out as much as you possibly can. I mean, if it's happening to do football camps and it's happening to do whatever, giving to charities or, or boys and girls clubs or whatever it is, you got to do as much as you possibly can to help. I'm only going to continue to do more and more. I mean, this is where I'm from. This is where my family and some of my nieces and nephews and cousins are out there on those same streets going through the same, the same struggles that I went through. So, I mean, obviously we're going to try to do as much as we possibly can and I'll just continue to do more and more every year. Hey, what do you think? I want to know more about the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, what? I mean, I, I can't wrap my mind around it. What was it like winning the Super Bowl in the parade and the aftermath yeah. and... and but, I mean, seriously, what what was it like? It was unreal. I mean, from it, it's kind of a blur. I mean, once you, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. seriously, once you win the Super Bowl and all the stuff that they got going on, from the after party yeah. to the um, ring ceremony to the parade. I mean, to the White House. I mean, it's one thing after another. You get no sleep. <laughs> but, but I will say this: it's worth every minute of it. I mean, yeah. The experience for not just us but for our family to experience that. I mean, the after party was amazing. Rashadi spent, I think, over a million dollars on our party. I mean, we had Jay Z, we had Beyonce there. I mean, the ring I, I didn't get the invite. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was, a, tough, it was a tough invite. It was a tough invite. I mean, the ring ceremony was unbelievable, man. I mean, the way the owners, they just, they go all out for their teams, and I mean, yeah. it, it's amazing to see what they do, and they have an opportunity to win a Super Bowl, it was, it was special, man, and I, honestly, as any, as a, all athletes, that's what you want to get, that's what you want to accomplish, because the experience is unreal, you can't really explain it, you got to actually go through it.